For the elderly of Riku's Takata, it's not just the tsunami that was hard to survive. Each day since has held new hardships. Brought at last to a shelter for some of the 10,000 made homeless here, the present might be easier to deal with, the future doesn't bear thinking about. Frankly speaking, there's nothing left. It's difficult to think about anything unless we reach a stage where daily life is realistic and things are gradually improving. One attempt at improvement is underway. Construction has started on school grounds of 200 temporary houses, each big enough for two or three people. But another reconstruction project in a town just above Rikos and Takata has had to be abandoned for lack of fuel. And that's something that's worrying both the military and the local government here, where the effort is being coordinated in the capital city of Morioka. Inside, there's some optimism that the situation might soon improve, but none too veiled criticism of the national government as well. Government and private companies are starting to coordinate better, but I expected them to move more quickly. The man leading the military's response here says they too will soon start trucking more aid as their rescue and recovery efforts wind down. So from now on, we've, our operation focuses on the rescue operation in the coastal area. And uh, I hope within two or three days, our operation is focused on lifeline operation. In other words, we send some food, water, and medicine to the refugee in the evacuation point in the coastal area. What would usually be the reception hall of the government offices has been transformed into a central hub for the thousands of missing people from across the prefecture. We met one woman from Rikuzen Takata who was in Morioka with her family when the wave hit. Why did only we survive? Friends who had dreams, young children, they should be alive as well. But they died. I don't want to accept this. That beautiful town where I used to live, I'm truly sad that we've lost it. In that beautiful town, a funeral for one of the dead, an 80-year-old woman who died when the tsunami claimed even the evacuation area where she'd fled. With so many washed away, never to be found, the chance to perform this simple ceremony is a source of some comfort. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera, Iwate Prefecture, Japan.